This is a lot of stuff, you guys. So I definitely needed to do this because this was just taking up space in my house. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and Zaya! For today's vlog, we are in Zaya's room because Zaya's room needs a major clean out, clean up, organization, getting rid of stuff. And also, not only all of her clothes and stuff in her room, but all of her toys downstairs in her toy box. I just wanna go through everything and get rid of all the things that she doesn't need anymore, things that she has grown out of, and things that we can give away. It is the holiday season right now, and it's a really good time to clear out your clothes and give it away to the less fortunate, as well as clearing out your kids' toys and giving those away to the less fortunate as well, because there are lots of kids out there who will not be getting new clothes or new toys for Christmas, so you could probably help out by donating some of your gently used items. Definitely comment down below your favorite places or ways or avenues of donating. I know that like the first place that pops into people's minds is like Goodwill or the Salvation Army. I personally have been staying away from Goodwill and stuff like that just because I don't know how I feel. I don't know. It kind of is low-key a scam to me in a way. I don't know how I feel about it. So recently I've just been donating straight to my grandma's church. They have like a charity closet thing where like people can just come in and take whatever they need for free when it comes to like clothing and stuff. For Zaya's toys, I'm really not sure what I am going to do with them or how I'm gonna donate them. I know that Goodwill will take them, but a lot of like toy drives will only take brand new toys in the box and they won't take gently used toys. So I'm trying to figure out who will take the gently used toys, but we'll figure it out. So anyway, all in all, we are gonna go through all her clothes, we're gonna go through all her toys, and we're going to get rid of a lot of stuff today. Are you ready to yeah. get rid of stuff? Yeah. You ready to clean up? Yeah. Okay, Daddy. wow, she was very excited. new wig that I designed for my first wig and the idea behind this wig is to make it kind of look like my natural hair. The previous wig that I did looks like my natural hair when it's straight but I wanted to do something and also you guys are very very highly requesting for me to do a wig that looks more like my naturally curly texture with kind of this brown color with the darker roots and everything to just kind of mimic this overall look but of course make it look better than what it really is because the thing is my hair is damaged i mean you guys can see just from looking at it that i definitely have damage the curls on this wig are not going to be damaged and this wig is going to have a much better haircut than what i currently have with all of my breakage and the best thing about it is that it will allow you guys who purchase the wig to be able to get the look even if you don't naturally have this texture of hair. So in case you haven't seen it, this is what the My First Wig packaging looks like. Comes in a very nice sturdy box with the logo on the front. Comes with your wig caps in there and then the wig itself comes in a very nice little zip up reusable carrying case. This one is a full lace wig. So of course you have your lace going all around the front perimeter of the wig, but then also on the interior of the entire wig, you'll see that it is full lace. So you don't have to worry about any tracks showing and you can do literally any type of hairstyle that you want. This also does come with the pre-plucked hairline, which I know is kind of hard to see but if you kind of put it against your skin, you can see that the hairline has like some natural variation to it and it's a little bit thinned out in the front so that it gives you a very, very natural hairline look instead of just being like a straight, harsh line going across your forehead. There's also three combs in here, one on either side and one in the back to help it from lifting up in the back if you wanna wear it in a ponytail. But yeah, this wig is of course 100% human hair. It's real hair, this is not synthetic. That is why you are able to do stuff like this with it and when you wet it, it looks so good because it is real 
human hair. So it's literally gonna last so much longer. It's of course gonna look so much more natural. You can do different styles with it. You can put heat on it. Like if you really wanted to, like you can straighten this wig. You could do whatever you want as if it was your real hair. You could go to the beach, get your hair wet and be like, oh, look at me, I'm a beach goddess. Like, my, oh, it's just my curl pattern. What, oh me? Oh yeah, this is just my curl pattern. Like, yeah. Like if all of my curls were perfect and healthy, this is what my hair would look like. We have the MacBook, the iPad, the iPhone, the Canon camera, the Beats headphones, the Target gift card, the Amazon gift card, two Sephora gift cards, and a gift voucher to RPG Show to get your own lace wig. So first off, I just wanna give you an overview of what Zaya's bedroom is looking like right now because it is honestly in absolute shambles. This is just embarrassing, honestly. There is so much stuff everywhere, and the clothes are the main culprit for the mess. We have this huge pile of new clothes because we did that try on haul video and as we were taking everything off it just got piled up on this chair over here then we have a pile of laundry here we've got shoes everywhere we've got um the like trash and stuff left over from all the shopping bags and just yeah it's just a mess so i am gonna go through all of this stuff clean up her whole room and probably get rid of a lot of her clothing okay i'm gonna hang up her new clothes first just to get that out of the way. I need you to help me because I need you to hand me the hangers. Yeah, you pick up those plastic hangers and put them in the gray bag. Yeah. Because we're not going to keep those hangers because we have these nice hangers from Amazon. Yeah. Just put them all in there. And then after that, can you pick up your dirty clothes over there and put them in the dirty clothes hamper? So I'm just going to hang up all of her new stuff that obviously I know we're keeping. It needs to be hung up over here. And you're gonna give me the hangers one by one so I can hang up your stuff, okay? Thank you. Good job, Saya. Thank you. So I'm just gonna start going through all of her drawers of clothes. I'm gonna use this bin that we have to start collecting the stuff that we want to give away. But we have basically some shorts from Last summer, these are size 18 months. So she currently is wearing 3T. These are too little, so put them in there. We're gonna give them to another baby. Put them in there. Good job. These are 2T, which, mm, like she can still fit these right now, but it's winter, so by the time it's summer again, they're not really, really gonna fit her. So I think these are a giveaway. These little stretchy shorts are also 2T. Hmm, it's hard when you're like in between sizes and in between seasons because I just really don't know if the 2T stuff is going to fit. Well, no, because she's already wearing 3T. Yeah, I don't think I don't think any of the 2T shorts are going to fit her by the time she's wearing shorts again. Most of all of these t-shirts in here are 2T, which she can still kind of fit right now. But the thing with all her t-shirts is that they're almost all stained. And I already use oxyclean and shout stain remover on all of her clothes and it just seems like it doesn't do anything like i don't know if you guys can see that but like her clothes are so super stained like the stains do not come out i use all different types of stain removers and they don't come out so um, i just don't know if i should give this stuff away i mean it's perfectly good clothes but it just has like little stains on it so i don't know i guess i'll put them in there for now and then figure out what to do with it later the camera cut off at some point but we just went through her pajama drawer and got rid of a bunch of 18 months size jammies that were still in there and she currently wears at least a 2t if not 3t so we just got rid of all the 18 months jammies and now we're moving on to the next drawer which has her well it's supposed to have her swimsuits her underwear and her socks in it but all of her underwear and her socks are like in the laundry so there's not even any in here right now but we do have a bunch of swimsuits which basically if it's not gonna fit her next summer then we don't need it because it's pointless the rule it has to be 2t and up 2t and up okay this swimsuit is 18 to 24 months it's super cute but it doesn't meet the 2T size rule these ones from Fashion Nova are 2T I know because we recently got them at the end of this summer so these are good these are good these ones are good 
all of these little bloomer things these like came from like when you buy baby dresses it always comes with like a little pair of bloomers to put over their diaper under the dress so this is this is like size 12 months because it just comes for like baby sizes so literally all these little bloomers i don't even know why we still have these these are for little babies so we're just left with a few of her most recent swimsuits in here that she should probably still be able to fit next summer doing pretty good in terms of the giveaway pile yeah we do need to go through your closet too and this little random pile this is a cute dress um again it has a stain on it and i tried so hard to get this stain out please comment down below your most powerful stain remover suggestions like i said i already use oxyclean and i already use shout stain remover sprays and stuff like that so if you guys have anything special like a secret recipe or something to help get stains out please let me know because i have so many clothes like this and even just stuff that i want to give away but i don't necessarily want to give it away if it's covered in stains so i really need help with stain remover so let me know can you help mommy pick up all these books and put them back where they go yeah, good job. Let's get all the books off the floor. This one, this one, and that one. Good job, thank you. Now, can you pick up this trash too? Yeah. The trash from your new clothes? Yes. Yeah, and get that little white hanger and put it in the gray bag like you did the other stuff. And we're gonna throw that stuff away. You're gonna put it in that trash can? Okay. Good job. Hey, can you make sure all these dirty clothes actually get into the dirty clothes? Yeah. Yeah. We gotta wash that stuff. This jacket was. Oh, this is size 24 months, so this is definitely too small. These little shorts are size 24 months as well both of those these mickey mouse shorts from zara luckily these are size two slash three so she actually might be able to still wear these we get to keep the mickey mouse shorts yay yay <laughs> where does this go um, um. good job you remember <laughs> let's see wait zaya she's just wanting to throw everything in the bin I have to look at it first. You're getting too trigger happy. Okay, these little ballerina jammies. These are size two tees, so we can keep those. Rainbow t-shirt, what size is it? 18 months, so that goes in the bin, too small. This little ice cream nightgown jammies. Um, this is size two, two to three, so we can keep this. This shirt has been through a lot. It's size two T, but it's just getting a little bit Raggedy, so I think we're gonna get rid of that. Okay, this one you can put in the bin, okay? There. Mommy, mommy's nails what pink. Like mommy's nails. Like pink, like my shirt. Oh, my nails are light pink like your shirt? Mm -hmm, like this. Very good, that's right. This little Santa shirt, that's just like a uh, pajama shirt, so we'll keep that. It's got a black T, is this a shamble shirt? Oh, this is a gold shamble shirt. This is her gold shamble shirt, so well, we're keeping that. First of all, it's size 24 months, so it's too small. Second of all, it has stains. Like, what? Did it get burnt? Like, I don't even understand what happens to some of her clothes. Okay, and last few little random things that were on her floor. Another t-shirt that is size 18 months, too small. Another pair of shorts that are size 18 months, too small. I don't know how I still have all this 18 months stuff, and she wears 3T. That's like two sizes ago. No, that's... 2T, 24 months, 18 months. That's like three sizes ago. All right, so now our giveaway bin is getting really full and we just need to look through the stuff that's hanging in her closet. So it's not too, too much stuff that's hanging here and some of it is this new stuff that I just hung up right there. So we just need to look through this little section. This is size 12 months, but it's such a cute little nice dress. I think I might, mm, do I need to keep this? Uh. No, we don't need to keep this little dress. We'll give that one away. This is size 12 months as well. Definitely need to give that dress away. She wore this for her first Easter. I know this little denim shirt is from a while ago. It's probably size 12 months. 
Let's see. This is six to nine months. Why do I still have this? This little top, it's like a little pink tank top with a little sheer top over it with the ruffles. This is size 2T, but again, it was kind of oversized when I bought it. So I think she will still be able to fit this. This little denim dress is size 2T. Again, it's one of those in-between things where it's like, will she be able to fit it by the time it gets warm enough again to wear this? Because she can fit it right now, but right now it's not good weather to wear it. So I don't know. I guess I'll hang on to it for a little bit. And if she can't fit it by the spring, then we'll get rid of it. Can you help me by putting the pull-ups in the top drawer over there? Can you put all your pull-ups in the drawer, please? I need to give you a task to keep you busy while I do this. Yeah, pick up your pull-ups and put them in there. This little hoodie thing is size 2T. But yeah, this one is really oversized, so you can definitely still wear this, so we'll keep that. This little fur thing, this is size 12 months, and she just recently got a new one to replace it that's much bigger, so. We'll definitely give this little vest away. Okie dokie, so these are the only clothes left in her closet, cleaned out all of that. The giveaway bin is now like overflowing. These are the rest of her new clothes that need to go folded up in her drawer. So I'm just gonna fold this stuff and put it in her drawers right here. Let's start with pants. Yeah. We have to fold your pants and put them away. And that one too? Yeah. I can do it. Can you help me? Yes, I'll help you. Can no. you find another pair of pants? Find another pair of pants in the pile and give it to me. Oh, find another pair. Thank you. Um, this one. Thank you. That gold pants. Yeah. That gold pants. Yeah. He has the tail. Like me, he has a booty. He has a booty too. I have a booty too. What are you talking about? And the tail. Oh, the animals have a tail, but we have a booty? That's right. We don't have tails. All right, so we are all done with Zaya's room. Everything is cleaned up and put away. No more clothes on the chair. No more clothes on the floor. Closet has been cleared out. Oh, except I just realized we have, well, no. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep all these shoes up here. These are like her nicer shoes, like Uggs and Vans and Pumas and stuff that I am keeping for a possible little sister in the future. I don't know, kind of just like memento. So I am keeping those along with, like I said, her fancy dresses back there. And then these are her regular clothes that I'm keeping. And then her shoes that still fit that of course we're keeping, but she has a lot of closet space now. And then don't mind her ugly bedding. She's very picky about what pillow and blanket she wants to sleep with these days. And this is her choice. So I know it doesn't match, but that's just what she likes. And then everything is all cleaned up over here. and. And her drawers are nice now. We've got all her shirts in here, long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts. We've got all her pants in here, leggings, jeans, and sweatpants and stuff. And we've got all her pajamas in here. So I feel like we cleared out a lot of stuff. We have this whole bin right here full of stuff to get rid of. And her drawers are nicely cleared out. Her closet is nicely cleared out. It kind of looks like she doesn't have like enough stuff or as much stuff in her wardrobe now but i kind of feel like the biggest difference between like her closet and my closet is like for my closet i i admittedly i hoard a lot of stuff and i keep a lot of extra clothes and shoes but that's because i'm not going to grow out of it like i'm a grown woman i'm not growing my weight is not really fluctuating or anything so i know that there still is a possibility that i can wear that stuff in the future for a certain occasion or a certain photo shoot or whatever it may be i have a lot of stuff that i'm keeping because it's like well i might use it in the future but with her it's just no point in keeping extra stuff because it's not gonna fit her obviously she's never gonna fit in size 12 months or size 18 months or even size 2t ever again 
in her life it just will not fit her so it's going to completely 100% go to waste if it just sits in her drawers or sits in her closet she's never ever gonna get to wear that stuff again and she doesn't have a little sister to wear it so the best thing that I can do is to give it away to another baby give it away to some other people who could really use it because it really makes absolutely no sense for her to have stuff that doesn't fit just sitting in her drawer so i definitely encourage you guys as well to go through your kids stuff um especially if they're an only child especially if they're in that toddler phase where they're growing really fast you know make sure you're going through their stuff pretty often to get rid of it and give it away because there are babies out there who could really use it meanwhile it's just collecting dust in their closet so that's why i try to do this pretty frequently my personal closet on the other hand like i said is another issue because i'm a hoarder because i'm like oh this stuff still fits me i can still wear it so it's much harder for me to get rid of it but i do still try to also go through my own stuff as well and i do get rid of a lot of my own stuff i just went through all my shoes the other day but i think we did a good job today with getting rid of all this stuff and putting away all her clothes so now we are going to take a lunch break and then we are going to tackle her toy box and do the same thing all right, so I actually put Zaya down for a nap, number one, because it was nap time and she was getting really grumpy, and number two, because I decided that going through her toys, although I did want to kind of include her in it a little bit just so that she can start learning kind of the meaning behind it of giving your toys to other babies and kids who might not be getting toys for Christmas. I mean, she's a little bit young to fully understand that concept, so I'm not really sure if she would fully get it anyway. And also, I didn't want to deal with possible temper tantrums and meltdowns um, when I explained to her that we are getting rid of these toys and I'm trying to take the toys out of her toy box. So I just honestly feel right now, while she's still only two and a half years old, it's probably better for me to do this part on my own. So this is really everything aside from some extra stuff that is in that closet over there, which we will look at as well. But pretty much whatever is in this toy box is everything that she has in terms of toys. I try to keep it limited to just this toy box, just to kind of cut back on having like way too many toys basically. But I mean, it is full to the brim and there is a lot of stuff in here, but I know a lot of people have a lot of opinions about the things that I buy or don't buy and the amount of money that I spend or don't spend on my daughter. I mean, everybody is different when it comes to parenting and when it comes to spoiling and when it comes to buying stuff. So, I mean, I don't really care. I'm not gonna judge the next parent for what they buy and what they don't buy. But for me, I just don't want to have like an extreme excess of stuff that I know she's not gonna play with and she's not gonna care about it and she's gonna sit there collecting dust, like I said. If you think that this is too many toys, cool. If you think this is not enough toys and I should buy her more toys, cool, that's your opinion, but all it is is your opinion, so. Anyways, I still feel like with what's in here, there is a lot of stuff in here that she literally never touches never plays with and maybe some stuff that she has basically outgrown that's like too babyish for her so i definitely think that there's at least a few things in here that we can get rid of i'm going to put it in this bin not to mention christmas is coming up and another big reason why i'm doing this is because i know she's about to get a lot of new toys and whatnot for Christmas, so it's a good time to clear this stuff out first before all that new stuff comes in. So basically what I'm deciding to give away so far is like the super babyish stuff. Like she's pretty much outgrown stuff like this. Like, this little bucket of shapes where you like match the shape and stick it through the hole. I think this is meant for like six month olds, maybe like six months to 12 months. So she's outgrown this. So I'm gonna find all the shapes and put that together and give that away. Also stuff like this, like this little ring thing where you put the rings on there, also like really babyish. And then just stuff like this that are more so like just for babies. I also still have her whole set of these things, which is like the giant like mat of like puzzle pieces with the letters in it. 
Um, the rest of them are in the closet over there and I think I'm gonna give those away as well because we haven't used those in a long time. We don't really have like the floor space to like lay out the mats or anything. So I don't think she's gonna be playing with this anymore. The stuff that I'm keeping is all of her stuff that goes to her kitchen. So all of her play food and you know her groceries and her pots and pans i'm going to put in there and i'm going to keep that because that is like her favorite thing that she currently plays with i'm also going to keep her barbie dolls and all the stuff that goes with that because that is another one of her current like new obsessions so just to show y'all what the bottom of this toy box looks like like just a hodgepodge of craziness so i'm sorting through to find the building blocks like these to put them in one place and then I'm looking for the shapes because I'm giving these away with that shape bucket thing right here so I need to put those in there and then there's these other wooden blocks which I haven't decided if I want to keep these or give them away I kind of feel like she's sort of outgrown these but they do have like the alphabet and sight words on there which could be helpful with the stuff that she's learning now. So maybe I will keep these. Then we have like random flashcards that ended up in here, which are supposed to be in a totally different location. I'm probably gonna have to go through the stuffed animals and kind of get rid of a few of those as well. Cause she has tons of those and she really never plays with any of them. She doesn't even sleep with any of them or anything. All right, made some good progress in here. There's actually like some trash, like just broken pieces and random stuff in here that needs to be thrown away. So I'm gonna gather all of that and put it into the trash and then this will pretty much be all cleaned out and then I'll be able to put back in the stuff that I wanna keep. I'm also definitely gonna separate all of the food stuff and actually put it in the kitchen and then like dress up stuff. So like these bracelets, necklaces, sunglasses. This is also gonna have its own little thing over here for dress up stuff got the tiaras which can go in there as well i wish i had some cute little baskets to go in each shelf like that fit perfectly in here to kind of like organize it and kind of help her learn like organizing fruits versus vegetables and stuff like that but i currently do not have any containers that fit in here this little shopping basket doesn't even fit so I just kind of threw the stuff in there for now, but I'm definitely gonna be um, searching like Target or Home Goods or something for some little baskets that can go in there to actually like hold the stuff better. As much as I wanna get rid of this little singing, noise making, super annoying little robotic puppy dog, she will kill me if I get rid of this because this is one of her favorite things. But the little song that it sings is so annoying. I'm not even gonna press the button right now, but can't get rid of it because she will kill me. So that just leaves me with this giant pile of stuffed animals and I feel like I should at least donate a couple of these. I know she really likes the shimmer and shine um, ones, so I'll keep those. And of course the Build-A-Bears just because those are a little bit more pricey. These were gifts from other people and these are like, you know, really nice. And she does like these, some of them talk and they have their little outfits and stuff. So I feel like we definitely gotta keep the Build-A-Bear. She has three Build-A-Bears. These two are both from Daisha, and I just wouldn't feel right getting rid of, I don't like getting rid of anything that was like a gift and like stuff like this is like sentimental. So I'm gonna keep those. Okay, I feel like I can get rid of this one, this little baby one that's more like a rattle, this little random, this is actually a keychain. And hmm, let's see, okay, so we'll get rid of these three small ones and get those away. She likes unicorns more than the Pusheen cat thing. This is another Pusheen cat, cat mermaid thing that I feel like she's not too crazy about. So I feel like we can get that one away. And that is the toy box all cleaned out. I don't know if you guys can really tell a difference or if it looks any emptier than before. Uh, Cause it still kind of looks kind of full with all the stuffed animals on top. But at least now we have all the blocks in one container, you know, there's definitely less junk at the bottom of it. That's for sure. This is our container so far of things that Zaya no longer needs. Lots of good things in there that are still in perfect condition. They just need to be sanitized, washed, a little bit of Lysol, a little bit of bleach. 
they'll be perfectly fine for someone out there. So here are the little alphabet puzzle piece floor mat things that I was talking about. I have the whole set of them. It has the full alphabet and numbers one through 10. And like I said, Zaya, I don't think she's ever gonna use these again. So I'm gonna pack these up in a trash bag and donate those as well. Now, the last thing is this coat closet over here, which is basically storing, like this is basically the toy graveyard because this is stuff that I've kind of already decided that I want to give away, but I just, didn't take the time to actually give it away yet, so I kind of just shoved it in this closet. There's also a few things in the garage that are similar to this that I want to give away. So it's just like these little activity things like this stuff. It's just stuff that she's kind of outgrown. So yeah, this is the finished product. I guess it really doesn't look any different from this perspective. The only real different thing is that I moved some of her smaller toys over here just to utilize that space. And her kitchen actually has the food in it where it goes. And the toy box is cleaned out now. So that's basically what I wanted to accomplish. All right, you guys, here is our final donation giveaway haul it's a lot of stuff because i did not show you that i actually cleaned out my closet as well so i have this huge tub full of shoes from my closet that i am donating there's probably about at least 20 pairs of shoes in here that i'm getting rid of as well as i have actually one two three four big bags right here of clothes and hats and extra stuff that I cleaned out from my closet as well. So don't worry, it's not just Zaya's stuff that I am cleaning out and getting rid of. I always clean out my closet periodically throughout the year as well. I have to do this several times a year because I wanna make sure that I'm not hanging on to excess stuff. And of course you saw the box of clothing that we just took out of Zaya's room, some extra baby toys. This is the bag full of the alphabet matte stuff and then the big box full of toys that you just saw me um, clean out from her toy box. Plus, I also have her Ikea high chair that we no longer use. She has grown out of this, and it's actually been sitting in my garage, so I need to go ahead and donate that as well. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is everything. I'm gonna look through my house one more time and just make sure that I got everything and I don't have anything else that I need to donate. But yeah, this is a lot of stuff, you guys, so I definitely needed to do this because this was just taking up space in my house and somebody else could really use this stuff. But yeah, you guys, I know this video was kind of random and all over the place. I just mainly wanted to show you guys a little bit of my process and give you some inspo to hopefully inspire you guys to do the same thing in your home, especially during this holiday season when there are so many people out there who could really use your gently used items, whether it be your clothes, your shoes, toys, anything like that that you can clear out from your stuff or your kids' stuff. There are a lot of people out there who could definitely use it, especially during the holiday season for Christmas and with the colder weather with your clothes and stuff like that. So hopefully this inspired you guys to do the same thing. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below with your suggestions, like I said, of places and ways to donate and reuse your gently used stuff and also suggestions on how to remove stains from clothes. Those are the two things that I need help with right now. So comment that down below. Like I said, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.